So the first one on the list is equine dedicated mills. Um, and this is going to determine how safe your horse feed is. So when you feed this feed to a horse, is your horse going to survive? Which is kind of an important question. Um, so there's a lot of mixed species mills where horse feed is made together with sheep, cattle, pig and poultry feed. And those feeds um, will often include ingredients that are either um, harmful or deadly. So things like antibiotics, hormones, urea and ionophores. Has anyone heard of stuff called menensin? <coughs> yeah. Hopefully not because your horse has had some. <laughs> no good. Okay, so menensin is a, is a really, really common feed ingredient used in ruminant feed. Um, and they use it to improve feed use efficiency in ruminants, which is important in feedlots because it's all driven economically. The more, the more gain you can get per <coughs> kilogram of feed, the better off the, the feedlot is. The problem is it's absolutely deadly for horses. So if a mixed species meal accidentally gets menensin into your horse feed, your horse is in a lot of trouble. So for me, this is a real showstopper. If a feed doesn't come out of an equine dedicated meal, it's very, very hard for me to um, consider putting that in my horse's mouth. I knew, I knew that there'd been, um, it's been several years now since um, a poisoning has happened in Australia, thankfully. I knew that there'd been some in the US about four years ago and I thought, oh, I'll just have a quick Google and see if there's anything been happening. And unfortunately, um, this was September last year, um, latest menensum poisoning devastates Californian horse farms. So there was five horses that had, had already died from grain tainted with menensum. I don't know if any more died after this. Um, I didn't go looking any further, but, um, and then, Oh, this one was a little bit devastating. Girl 11 sobs over losing her beloved pony after 50 horses were poisoned at a farm. Like 50 horses were killed um, in this particular stable and it was because of menensin tainted feed. Like you only have the tiniest little bit amount. Um, it's so, so toxic to horses. Um, so that was, that was March this year. So there was one last year, one this year. This one I think was a few years ago. It says um, something about 2012 there. But this poor girl had sat and nursed this little pony's head for hours and hours and then eventually he was so sick that they had to put him down. So it's kind of, it's just, <laughs> I was nearly crying when I found all of these and I'm not, I'm not that sentimental. But um, it's just one of those things that it's always in the back of my mind that yes, there's always systems in place in these mixed species meals to, make, to try and make sure that this doesn't happen. But, you know, these, these feed mills didn't do this deliberately. There's some human error in there somewhere and something is stuffed up and menensin has ended up in these feeds and it's killed these horses. And it's a horrible way for them to go. Um, like these horses crash through that fence because they just, um, if you see any video of a horse that's poisoned by menensin, they're all over the place. Um, they go a bit crazy and then eventually they die from a heart attack if they're not put down. Um, and if you want to know if a horse is equine dedicated, if a mill is equine dedicated, ring them and ask if they use menensin. Um, in any of their feeds. So equine dedicated doesn't mean they don't make feeds for other um, animals, but if they do, they don't have any of these ingredients in the feed meal so that it can't end up in horse feed.